so I have done just kind of a kooky little cuts on these buildings. And at first I didn't start off that way. Everything was all straight lines. And then I was like, hmm, that's not abstract enough. So I went with these curvy lines. And for the background, I had already pre-glued down this. I thought about doing just paint in the background, but then I found this piece of scrapbook paper and I was like, okay, I really got to use that one. The other thing that you'll notice is I put down the big buildings first. And now I'm going to layer in some smaller buildings in front of them. I wouldn't want to put this one in front of this because these are the same papers. And even this one, it's kind of similar. So I'm trying to stagger them so they add a little bit more interest to it. And then I also thought about doing the, this piece of grass in the front. So. left these gaps in here as if there's roads that go through here. You know how the cities have blocks. Although, you know, having this piece of grass in front, there's a little bit of contrast in there because there's not a whole lot of grass in the cities. And I thought about putting down something that looked like a road here, but I really like the idea of having grass. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work with some paints and I have a variety of stencils that I picked out for textures and um, some little texture tools. I think the key to this is imperfection. You know, if I try to make this look realistic, well, for one thing, it wouldn't be abstract, but I really like the funky way that it's coming out. At first, I thought when I started doing the, the textures on the buildings, I thought, oh, I should have done that ahead of time. But you know, I'm having a lot of fun just trying to work with what I've got. So sometimes if you try to plan these things out a little too much in advance, you might be killing your own creativity. So allowing yourself to play and just go with what is and not worry about what you think you should have done, I think really goes a long way. Mm -hmm. 